Hello everyone, this is Tim from TradePen879 here again, and this is start number six of the 1967 Mike McCormick NL Cy Young Stratomatic Advanced Replay. We are only doing his starts, not his relief appearances. Uh, today, the Giants head to Houston to face the Astros, and this may be deja vu for some of you that have been following. It is Mike McCormick against Mike Cuellar. And we'll go ahead and get started. Cuellar, the left-handed pitcher, will face Jesus Salou, the right-handed batting left fielder. And here's the pitch from Cuellar to Alou. And a 2-6 against the lefty ground ball back to the mound. And Cuellar throws it first, one down. Here's Tom Haller. And a 5-7, and oh! That's hit into the gap, and it's cut off by Jimmy Wynn. They will hold Holler to a double. And they will not hold Holler on. Here's Willie Mays. And a 2-11 against a lefty ground ball to short. And that is Sonny Jackson up with it over to Chuck Harrison. Two down. And here is Jim Hart, the third baseman. And a 3-8 against the lefty fly ball to center, and that will retire the side. Half inning in the books, Giants nothing, Astros coming to bat. And here is Jim Landis, the left fielder. And get the camera check here. No, we're good. Okay. Here's the pitch from McCormick to Landis. And a 1-8, and that's only a 1 on a single chance, so that's a line drive caught by the shortstop Halloneer, one down. Here's Sonny Jackson. And a 4-10 against the lefty is a fly ball to center, and Willie Mays is there. Two down, here's Joe Morgan. And a 4-10 against the lefty. Again, a fly ball to center. So Willie Mays puts away the final two outs. And we're going to the top of the second. No score. And here's Jack Hyatt to lead off. He's the first baseman today. And a 3-6. Swing the miss. Strike three. And here is Ollie Brown. 3-3, three, three, and he draws a walk. So, one out walk to Wally, for Ollie Brown, sorry. They are not holding him on. I'll bring up Halloneer. And a 1-5 base hit to center field. Uh, Brown not being held on is a 15. The center is when he's a 0. So, 1-15, to 15, he's going to take off. And he's out of there. So, Jimmy Wynn, we'll call that 8-5. to five. And there's two down, and here's Tito Fuentes. 6-7, and that's a 20 line drive to third. And that will retire the side. The base running gaff does not help. And we go to the bottom of the second. No score. And here is Jimmy Wynn, who made that great throw to third to get Ollie Brown. And 3-5, he draws a walk. So and they will hold on uh, Wynn. Holler is a zero, so he'd be a one to ten. They'll hold him on. They'll let Harrison swing the bat. And a three seven. Good call. Base hit center field. So first and third. For Rusty Staub, LaGrande Orange. And here's the pitch from Staub. They will not, they will not hold anybody on. And a 5-8, and Staub rips a base hit. The 
That pass the first baseman. Hyatt in the score is win. The second is Harrison. one nothing Astros. And somewhere Steeler fan is cheering if he is watching this. And here is Bob Espermonte. And a 4-8 against a righty ground ball to first. The second for one. The return throw. No, he is safe on the fielder's choice. Going to third is Harrison. And here is John Bateman. Uh, let's see. That is one down. Runners on the corners. And a 2-5. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And that will bring up Cuellar. And a 6-10 against the lefty Cuellar. And that's a fly ball to center. Mays runs it down, and that will retire the side. The Astros pick up a run on two hits. And after two innings complete, it's the Astros won, the Giants nothing. And Mike McCormick will lead off in the bottom, or top of the third, sorry. And a 4-6. McCormick's a lefty, yes. And that's a 16, so that's a base hit for Mike McCormick. Uh, he will not be held on, and that'll bring back the top of the order, Jesus Salou. Grounded out his first time up. 5-7, and that's a base hit for Alou. The third is McCormick in his nice Giants jacket. And here is Tom Holler. 2-5, and that's a walk, so the bases are loaded. For Willie Mays, not sure that's the guy you want up with the bases loaded, but we shall see. Uh, they'll keep the infield normal. They'll try to get two outs for a run. Six, nine, and well, they get the first out. Swing and a miss, strike three for Quayar. Uh, no, wait, Mays for Quayar, and that is strikeout number two for Quayar. And here is Jim Ray Hart. One, six, not going to get away with it this time. Base hit center field. McCormick scores. The third is a Lou. Uh, we're holding him on. So six, 15 bumps up to a 16. And that's the center field. Wins a zero arm. One to 16. They're going to send him. And he is safe. So, two-run single for, oops, for Jim Ray Hart, and the Giants take a 2-1 to one lead, which is actually way more than what they scored in the real game. The real game was 2-0 Astros, and uh, Cuellar pitched a complete game. Here's Jack Hyatt. 4-10, ground ball to short. Jackson three, and I believe this is going to be in range. 13. Yes, it is. Uh, he will knock it down, or he'll charge. He gets it, throws, and gets Hyatt, but everybody moves up a base. So second and third, two down. Here is Ollie Brown. Walked his first time up. Was thrown out at third. Three, five. Base hit center field. In the score is Holler. In the score is Hart. And the Giants have a four spot here in the third and lead four to one. And here's Helenier. They will not hold Ollie Brown on. 2-8 ground ball to short, and that will retire the side. But not until the Giants put up four in the top half of the third 
And we go to the bottom half. The Giants lead 4-1, to one, and that might be enough for McCormick. We shall see. Here is Jim Landis. He lined out his first time up. And 4-7 against a righty. Swing and a miss. Strike three. So second strikeout for McCormick. Here's Sonny Jackson. Flew out his first time up. And a 3-3 against the lefty. Ground ball to third. Hart to Hyatt. Two down. Here's Joe Morgan. Flew out his first time up. And a 6-2 against the lefty. is a fly ball to right. Ollie Brown there. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for McCormick here in the third. We go to the fourth. Giants lead. 4-1. to one. And. Fuentes, McCormick, and Alou is the are due up in the top half of the fourth. And here's Tito Fuentes. Lined out his first time up, and that's a foul ball. Ah. Excuse me. And here we go again for Fuentes. And a 4-6 against a righty. Fly ball to right. Staub is there, one down. Here's McCormick singled and scored his first time up. And second base X, that will not be in range for Morgan on an 11. So he is an E19. E19. Yes, a 10 is a nice play. Throws, it's in the dirt, but picked out nicely by Harrison. Two down. And here is Jesus Alou. And a 3-7 against the lefty. Ground ball to short. And that's a 1-2-3 inning for Cuellar. Bottom of the fourth. Still 4-1 Giants. And win. Harrison and Staub here in the fourth for the, the Astros. Uh, Win walked and scored his first time up. So 0 for 0 on the day. Make that 0 for 1. Ground ball to third. Hart fires first in time. One down. Here's Chuck Harrison. And a 4-7 against the righty. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Third strikeout for McCormick. And here is Rusty Staub. 5-10 against the lefty fly ball. The right coming in is Brown makes the running catch, and that will retire the side. Eight in a row set down by McCormick. We go to the fifth. 4-1 to one Giants. And here is Holler, Mays, and Hart. Holler walked his last time up. He doubled in the first inning, so one for one with... A run scored. And a 1-3 against the lefty ground ball to second. Morgan to Harrison. One down. And here is Willie Mays. 0 for 2. Ground out and a strikeout. 4-6. Fly ball to right. Stav is there. Two down. Here's Jim Hart. Singled his first time up. Actually, it's a two-run single, so one for two with two RBIs. And a 110 pop-up behind home plate. Bateman throws the mask off and makes the catch in foul territory to retire the side. Bottom of the fifth here in Houston, 4-1 to one, Giants. Here's Bob Aspermonte. Uh, reached on a fielder's choice his first time up. 312. Oh, and that line drive to third. It's one away from getting out of here. All right, here's John Bateman. 3 9. Base hit the right field. And they will bring the corners in. They are expecting a bunt from Quayar. Uh, he'd be a C bunter. 
Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll let him bunt. All right. So C, bunting for Quayar. Here's the pitch. Quayar squares around. Uh, let's see here. C and an 8. All right. He gets it down. A little, a little hard, but Bateman can still make it to second. As the first baseman. Yes. Rose to first. The second baseman covering. 3 to 4. And back to the top of the order, Jim Landis, 0 for 2, line out and a strikeout. 2 9, swing and a miss, strike 3. So that'll retire the side here in the 5th. We go to the 6th. Uh, 4 to 1, Giants, sorry. Here's Jack Hyatt. Five six against a righty swing and a miss strike three. So down on strikes for the second time is Hyatt. And here is Ollie Brown. Uh, one for one with a walk in two appearances. And one four ground ball to third. Aspermonte the first two down. Here's Hallenier. Four six. Batting righty, fly ball to right. And that is going to be it for the Giants here in the sixth. That's 10 in a row set down by Quayar. And bottom of the sixth, uh, Jackson, Morgan, and Wynn do up for the Astros. And here's McCormick. And a 5-10 fly ball to the right. Coming in is Staub. Two, oh, sorry. Oops. Wrong side of the ledger here. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, coming in is Brown makes the catch. Actually, no, it's a center fielder is... Is he a left-hander? Yeah. So it was... Um, Brown making the catch one down. Here's Chill Morgan. Two flyouts and two appearances. 2-10 against the lefty. That's a 10, so that's a base hit. And let's see here. Uh, excuse me. Zero R for uh, Holler, the catcher. Morgan will be a 1-13. Not down three runs at this point. Here's Jimmy Wynn. Um, let's see, hit and run. No thanks. Five, eight, and good decision. One to three is a triple. That's a three. And that'll get down and get all the way to the wall. Morgan goes all the way around. Wynn stops at third. And the Astros have cut this to a four to two deficit. So Jimmy Wynn coming through with the triple. And one down, runner on third, four to two Astros. And here's Chuck Harrison. Uh, they'll play the infield back. They, that, that one doesn't really mean anything to him. It's three, nine. Ground ball to short. Let's see if that'll get the job done here. Runner on third. Yes, it will. So the ground ball to short. On the first two down, run scores. And the Astros have cut this to a 4-3 to three game. And here is Rusty Staub. And a 1-3 found the field goal. I'm sorry, I didn't use that term. Ground ball to second. Uh, Fuentes over to Hyatt, and that will retire the side, but not until the Astros get two and cut the deficit to four to three. And Cuellar will face Fuentes, McCormick, and Alou. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, they'll let him go fourth time through the order. And a 1-7. And that's a 20 salt line drive caught by the third baseman Espramonte. Oops, let me just... There we go, that's better. And here's McCormick. One for two on the day with a single and a crown out. Five. Oh. That would have been a 5-2. That would have been a home run chance. But 5-3 is a pitcher X. Uh, not in the top three or the bottom three. So we go to the air rating. E12. E12 on a pitcher. 6 to 10 or a 12. And that's an eight, so that's a good play from Cuellar. Two down, back to the top of the order. Here's Jesus Alou. Three, five, and that's a base hit. And that will end a streak of 12 in a row. They will not hold on Alou. Here's Tom Holler. 3-9, ground ball to second, and Morgan over to first, and that will retire the side. Stretch time here in Houston, Dome, last call for Dome Foam, and Senior, take me out to the ball games, at the old ball game. All right, so here's Aspromonte Bateman. Oh, yeah, I guess we'll leave Cuellar in to pitch the eighth. All right. Here's Aspromonte leading off. Four, eight against a righty. Ground ball to first. Hyatt takes it to the base himself. One down. Here's John Bateman. And a 6-6 six, six against a righty. Pop up right side of the infield. Lanier calls for it. Makes the catch. Two down. Here's Quayar, 0 for 1 with a sacrifice. And the 3 8, ground ball to third. And Hart throws it to first, and that will retire the side. We go to the eighth. 4 to 3, Giants. Quayar will face Mays, Hart, and Hyatt. Two, seven, and that's a five. Line drive ticks off the glove of Jackson and gets into right field for a base hit. Oh, he almost timed that perfectly, but not quite. All right, and uh, Mays would be a one, two, ten. Holding him on. And, ooh. Now, I like his two column for Jim Ray Hart. And that's exactly what we get. Bases on balls. So uh, let's see. We'll have Claude Raymond loosening in the pen. And one more walk or base hit. Unintentional walk. Means that Quayar is now tired. Here's Jack Hyatt first and second. Now they won't. He's a debunner, so he won't be bunting. And a 1-8 fly ball, deep left field, going back as Landis looking up and out of here. 1-7's a homer, and that's a 7. Three-run homer for uh, Jack Hyatt. And the Hyatt has just given the Giants a little bit more breathing room, 7-3. And that'll be it for Quayar. Claude Raymond will come into the game. And... All right, Ollie Brown will face Claude Raymond. Ready, ready matchup. Three, seven. 
And that's a ground ball of short. One down. Here's Hal Lanier. Two eleven. Pop up behind home plate. Bateman once again takes off the mask and gets it. Two down. Here's Tito Fuentes. Uh, two line outs and a fly out. And a 6 8 pop up. Right hand side of the infield. And there is the shortstop, Jackson, to retrieve it. That will retire the side, but not until the three run homer by Hyatt puts the Giants up 7 to 3. And they'll for sure let McCormick at least start the eighth. And they will have. Um, Ron Herbell and Ray Sadecki loosening in the pen. So a little lefty righty action here. All right, here's McCormick to face Landis. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts. 3 9. Against the lefty, that's a fly ball to center. Willie Mays there. And that'll retire Landis. Here's Sonny Jackson. And a 5-7 lefty ground ball to second. Fuentes there. Two down. Here is Joe Morgan. 1-11 lefty pop-up. Foul territory. First base side. Hyatt is there. Makes the catch and that retires the side. And we go to the ninth. Giants lead 7-3. And Raymond will face McCormick, Alou, and Holler. Yes, they'll let him pitch the ninth. He's pitched uh, three over the minimum for McCormick here. Wow. Actually, no. Six over the minimum, I should say. Six over the minimum. All right. Two, six. Swing and a miss. Strike three for McCormick. Here is Jesus Alou. He is two for four with two singles and a run scored. And a 6-6. Six, six. Base hit the left field. So three for five for Alou. They will not hold him on. And here's Tom Holler. Uh, one for three with a double and a walk. And 2-12 against a righty. Uh, another pop-up behind home plate and another easy play for Bateman. That's uh, two putouts in the last two innings for Bateman. Here's Willie Mays, two down, runner on first. And a 3-7, fly ball to center. And that will take care of the Giants here in the ninth. We go to the bottom half of the ninth. McCormick will come out. He will face... Win Harrison and Staub. And here's the pitch to win. One five. Ooh, against the lefty, thankfully. That's a base hit for Jimmy Wynn. He is two for three with a walk. Here's Chuck Harrison and, and Mc. Daniel and Herbell have come back loosening again. Four, seven, swing and a straight three. He is not tired yet. Here's Rusty Staub. Four, four. And that's the maze. Center field does, oh, barely out of his out of his uh, range. We'll go to his air check. Maze is an E10. Oh boy. This is not going to be pretty, but we'll see. And that will work. E10, uh, 8 to 11, that's a 9. So Maze gets it and hangs on. Two down. And here is Bob Aspermonte. 6-6, six, six, pop-up, right side of the infield. Lanier calls for it, and that's your ball game. 
final score from the Astrodome. The, the Giants take this one 7-3. to three. Uh, McCormick moves to 5, or sorry, not 5. This is starting over 6. The 4 and 2. So, and we'll get right back to you with the final numbers for McCormick. All right, final line score for McCormick. Gets the win, goes to 3 and 2 on the season. Uh, with distance, giving up 3 runs, walking 1, striking out 5. All right, so the next game on the Indians replay, I have decided uh, they, are, they have a three-game series against the Orioles. Game two is Eric Bedard for the Orioles and Jeremy Sowers for the Indians. Uh, I do. Let me see. I'll pause the video right now, and I'll tell you McCormick's next, next start. Just a second. All right, so the next uh, appearance for, in the McCormick replay is a start against the Dodgers. Uh, it'll be McCormick against against Don Drysdale. So that should be a fun one for the folks that follow that are Dodger fans. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Uh, please make sure you hit the like button. And if you have not already subscribed and would like to, please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified of any new videos. And whatever games you are playing, please enjoy them to your fullest. Have a Good night, everybody.